hey y'all welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia and today's video it's another soggy slimy day in the dmv area i'm actually in one of my favorite parts of town because i'm taking myself on a date <laughs> and yes i'm taking myself on a date because because you're worth it i need it one thing i will say about adulting you learn more and more that you have to give yourself something to look forward to. It kind of goes back to that video that I did about feeling mundane and everything looking the same. When you give yourself something to look forward to, it's like, okay, all I gotta do is make it through this week because I gotta take myself out this weekend, you know? I'm actually at my first stop right now and I'm about to go in and grab my goodies. So, uh... <laughs> My second stop i'm at one of my favorite thai restaurants out here i've been craving this one dish it's been like on my mind my spirit heavy like i just i really really need it in my life right now um it's so crazy because it looks like it's about to storm pretty bad but i'm gonna be out here for a little bit because after i eat dinner i gotta go to alta and then i'm gonna go to the movies so and i'm thinking about seeing two movies because I'm dating myself tonight. Like, I'm on a date with myself. And what would a date with myself want? What would I want if I was to date myself? To go to the movies. You know, the first reason I say it's important to take yourself out because it helps you escape mundanity and gives you something to look forward to. The second reason why it's important to date yourself is because it's another extension of treating yourself, you know? You know, why wait for someone to treat you? And this is not on a, you know, angry black girl kick that people love to label us as when you're happy and single, but it's just, to me, it's logic. It's reality. At the end of the day, I'm not going to sit around and wait for someone to take me out. And I don't think your self dates should reflect your dating life either. You can go out on regular date, but I think that to make sure that you are thriving and feeling good and in a good space, you have to take yourself out. I know I needed this and it wasn't even on a, oh my gosh, I need to go out. It's more so I just wanted a night to myself. I think that for the last few months, I've been giving myself to so many different people and having to go here, be there, which is fine and Danny it's a part of life but it's exhausting and i just felt like this is the night i just want to do what i want to do i don't want to have to plan with anybody coordinate with anyone i just want to be by myself in my own solitude so i'm about to grab dinner and then i'm going to head to the movies I'm probably going to go to alta first you guys are going to follow me so and actually you know what? i think i'm going to move my car because right now i'm at the top level and there's literally no one up here and actually the only car that's up here, it's missing a tire, and that's never a good sign in this area. So I'm gonna go actually downstairs. So let's head on down. That's the car with no tire. I'm back 
back at home i just took a shower and i'm about to braid up my hair for the night but first and foremost i have to say the blackening was such a good movie i enjoyed it so much if you are a fan of horror movies and also a fan of black cinema you would love the blackening it was literally as funny as it was, it was still pretty scary. I definitely, I'm so glad nobody was, no one was sitting next to me. Like the whole time my mouth was like, yeah, it was such a good movie. I, I'll probably go see it again. I don't know. Uh, but for real, for real, it's probably coming out of there soon. But I forgot I didn't give you guys my third reason on why it's so important to date yourself, y'all. Don't forget to date yourself. And the reason why I'm so adamant about treating myself, dating myself, taking myself out, all that stuff, all that cute stuff, is because the world is crazy. That's my third reason. The reason why you need to take yourself out is because this world is crazy. I mean, I can't even explain to you <laughs> the ups and downs of um today i actually don't post my videos in order i don't know if you guys noticed or not but today the supreme court just kicked back biden's student loan forgiveness plan and then i also saw something about them denying or allowing businesses to discriminate against the lgbtqia plus community it's just their decisions, their logic is always going to be, it's always going to cause confusion to me, but it just reinforces the reason and my whole mantra about taking care of myself and treating myself and taking myself out because sometimes you just need a, you need a break and you need a break by yourself to kind of recollect everything and just do what you have to do to move forward because this world is crazy. It's it's, un it's unpredictable. We never know what the next day, the next hour is gonna hold. So you have to take the little mo out. You have to take the little moments. I mean, it's, it, I can't. So with that being said, <sighs> hopefully I made this video clear. Let's go back through the reasons to date yourself again. <laughs> Number one, escape mundanity. It gives you something to look forward to. Number two, treat yourself. If you can't treat yourself, how do you expect someone else to treat you? And number three, the world is crazy. So whenever you get the opportunity to take care of yourself, to go the extra step to take care of yourself, do it. Because again, life, happiness is in the moments. And we have to take these moments for what they are. So that being said, thank you for watching if you're watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video peace bye they're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty